How about him? That is better than most. Better than most. Welcome to CTX College Golf Powerhouse Showcase. I am Jason All, and I am pleased to join you today. And uh, soon we will be joined by head bulldog Ryan Chandler of Union University. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting Ryan this past week uh, at the uh, CTX Port City Championship, and uh, just a great guy. And I'm uh, really excited to talk with him about his program that uh, he's building at Union University. We'll bring him right in shortly. The, um, the College Tour X winter season carries on. We just finished our uh, South Alabama loop where we had two events uh, near the Mobile Bay, uh, one at the CTX Dogwood Classic at the Lakewood course on the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, and then we just crossed right over the bay and played a second event, the CTX Port City Championship at RTJ Magnolia Grove. A couple of great tournaments, uh, great opportunities for these collegiate and amateur golfers to get out there on the golf course and stay sharp during their winter breaks and, and, and try to improve their games as they get ready to head back for the spring semester. Uh, we're going to bring Coach Ryan Chandler in right now. Coach Chandler, how are things? Good, Jason. I appreciate you having me today. Uh, no problem. No problem. Very uh, very glad to have you on the program. Very excited about what you're doing over there in uh, western Tennessee. Uh, Coach Chandler, you were a 2011 Union University grad, uh, pursued a professional golf career for about a decade, and now you come back in 2019 to take over the program that you played for. Uh, what has that meant to you? Uh, it means a lot, Jason. Um, uh, it's really special to me. Union University uh, is, definitely has a, a very special place uh, in my heart. Uh, I think that the opportunity I had as a player at Union uh, gave me a chance to change uh, the direction of my life. And um, it gave me the tools I needed uh, to be able to be successful uh, in and out of the golf business uh, in Central Florida and then um, be able to come back uh, prepared to lead the program. So um, I'm hoping that uh, I can be the type of coach uh, like I had. Um, I had a lot of mentors around me that uh, I guess helped me develop and hopefully I can be the type of coach uh, that I had. Well, you, you spoke there a little bit. You said playing at Union gave you the opportunity to put your life in a new direction. Uh, if you don't mind, go go down that road for me. Tell me a little bit about what, what, what you mean there. Um, well, when I graduated high school, um, I wasn't the, the greatest player uh, in high school. I never made the Tennessee State Tournament. Um, I did finish uh, runner up, I think, in the uh, district or regional, uh, the district tournament, I believe, my sophomore and senior year, but uh, always fell a couple shots shy of making it to the state tournament, uh, which now seems to be like a, an ultimate requirement to play college golf. But um, I was able to get a myself a tryout um, at Christian Brothers University. I actually played there my freshman year uh, in the Gulf South Conference. Um, and then uh, I had a chance to transfer uh, after my freshman year to Union University, um, where I was able to be a part of a, a significant uh, winning program there. Uh, of course, we were NAI at the time, but um, that opportunity that I had to uh, go from uh, the Gulf South to uh, Union, uh, honestly, I was probably making some decisions that I shouldn't be making off the golf course and uh, the coaches at Union University gave me an opportunity and held me accountable, uh, which ultimately changed the direction I was going. Um, so I'm forever thankful for that. Well, it's amazing. Uh, you know, I talk about this to a lot of coaches and just how important a coach is in a young man or a young woman's life. Um, I think back on the relationships that I have maintained post college and post high school and and uh, for right or wrong, it's the co it's a relationship with my former coaches is who I'm still in touch with more than anybody else. And uh, so you guys have an awesome responsibility. There's no question about it. 
and, and an awesome power to be able to affect lives. And uh, having your lives affected positively, I would imagine, uh, just inspires you more to, to try to help uh, guide, mentor, and uh, lead these young men and women. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, kind of hit the ground running at, at Union in 2019 with some good success right out of the gate. Uh, your women's team was able to pick up a win at the Don Morris Invitational uh, in 19, and then you had two all Gulf South performers, one man, one woman, uh, from your golf teams then. And then your men's team comes back this year in the fall and picks up a win and has a real, uh, at the Don Morris Invitational, has a nice second place finish. Uh, down at Delta State. Um, seems like things are going good. Are you pleased with the progress thus far? Uh, yes, sir, I am. Uh, just a couple notes that you hit on there. Um, you know, coming in, we had some players that uh, were already significantly talented, uh, obviously. Um, I think that uh, from my standpoint, uh, I think just coming in um, as a new coach and also an alumni of the university uh, kind of held some ground with them, but um, just having somebody to come in that believed in them, that wanted to see uh, the program succeed um, and be good. Um, just highlighting you know, that first spring, uh, McKenna Montgomery, uh, she's from St. Louis. Uh, she finished um, first team GSC in the spring of 19, which was uh, the first women's player uh, from Union to ever do so um, since starting a program um, and us finishing uh, in the top half of that conference as a team was a significant um, uh, accomplishment for us. Um, then on the men's side, we had uh, Jordan Botwinick, who just graduated last year, um, that finished in the top seven um, and earned GSC honors. So, wow. um, like I said, just those first couple of bit, we had um, some talented players that already had the DNA to uh, work hard each and every day. So I think uh, that was also beneficial to us as a team and our success. Oh, that's great. So being a member of the Division II Gulf South Conference, and the Gulf South Conference is, is one of, if not the toughest conferences in all of Division II, uh, you know, you've got to be able to uh, to really uh, recruit and recruit Division I level players to compete in that conference. Uh, with D1 having some restraints that D2 does not have currently and hasn't for the last year, in, uh, in, in recruiting, have you been able to maybe go after some higher ranked or some more accomplished players uh, and, and, get, and get more traction with that type of player uh, with, with D2 still being able to recruit freely and go watch players where D1 can't? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I think right now, specifically on our men's side, um, we've, we've got a strong recruiting class coming in and uh, some very talented players that are going to really propel us uh, moving forward. Um, I think uh, that it's going to be a lot of fun to see what happens uh, the next few years, and uh, I'm looking forward to the competitiveness of it. Um, but, yeah, I think um, it has been somewhat of a, uh, a benefit to be able to go see these players play. Um, but I'm glad you mentioned uh, the comparison. Um, and when you said we have to have Division One level uh, players to be able to be successful, that's, uh, that's a mindset that I think we touched on the other day. And um, I think uh, a lot of players and parents possibly may uh, have that D1 or bust mindset, but uh, the Gulf South being as strong as a conference as it is, um, right. you know, you look at on the men's side, you look at the golf stat rankings the last two, uh, two out of the last four years, uh, I think West Florida's Chandler Blanchett, um, and then last year Delta State's uh, Zach Zedeker were the best players in the country, whether it was Division Two or Division One. Um, so those those players came out of our conference. Um, mm -hmm. having the lowest scoring averages in the country. So that's what we're up against. And uh, I think that it's important that we get those level of players 
um, I think it's important for them uh, to have the mindset that they are wanting to find the best fit, not necessarily um, the status level. For sure. So when I take a look at your current rosters, uh, larger rosters, uh, men's team, 14 players, women's team, nine players. Is a, is a larger team roster with more internal competition part of your uh, overall strategy, or is this more of a transition period with you coming in and, and inheriting some solid players, but then bringing in uh, some some of your own players? Well, we're definitely uh, still in the transitional phase as far as that's concerned. Uh, when I came in, we did have uh, 13 on the men's side and six on the women's side. Uh, but uh, we've been able to uh, kind of maintain on the men's side uh, while bringing in uh, solid players the last uh, couple of years, you know, one or two players a year. Um, and then with the women's side, we've been able to build that up and we have uh, nine solid uh, players right now. Um, and then uh, we're going to continue to keep those uh, around nine or 10, very competitive. So uh, I think the next couple of years, you're gonna see a cut down on the men's side. Um, I just, uh, I think it can be a detriment to uh, the program if you have uh, that many players. Uh, not all the players are getting the experience they need to get in order for us to be successful. So we are probably uh, gonna cut those numbers down. Um, but I, I, I foresee that um, it becoming uh, very much more competitive um, moving forward uh, in doing so. Uh, I just think that uh, finding the balance of, of players that are uh, going to be graduating plus making sure we get in the players that we need uh, moving forward to be successful. Gotcha. So I mentioned earlier that I, I had the pleasure of meeting you earlier this week down in Mobile at the uh, Port City Championship. Uh, what brought you to our College Tour X event? Uh, what had you down in Mobile? Well, um, I've seen quite a bit on uh, the launch of College Tour X, and um, I like the fact that um, there's going to be high school players uh, in the College Tour X fields. Um, it allows us as college coaches to see those players uh, play uh, not only in some tougher conditions, especially right here in the wintertime. I believe last Thursday it was, uh, you know, probably <laughs> yeah. 35 with 15 to 20 mile an hour winds. Uh, it was, so uh, it was seeing, pretty cold down there, man. We were trying about, to get south and avoid yeah. some of that, but we brought yeah, it to Tennessee, I, I think. I, I think we're going to have to go closer to the equator if we're going to get some uh, <laughs> sunny in 75. But uh, uh, it, was, uh, it was good to be able to see those players uh, play at the college distances, and I think um, this is going to provide us with the opportunity to see a more realistic view of how they handle those conditions and those uh, links on the golf course. Well, that's great. So, I mean, that's certainly part of our, our strategy and what we wanted to uh, bring uh, to amateur golfers was the ability for one, first and foremost, all levels of collegiate golfers to be able to compete against each other in a, in a stroke play uh, world amateur golf rank ranked counting event and then we do allow a 10th i mean 11th and 12th graders into the field so if you completed your 10th grade year of high school uh and you intend to play college golf then uh you have the ability to play into these college tour x fields um, do you see value for your collegiate players to stay sharp and, and play these type of events outside of the team season Absolutely. Um, you know, as as limited as our actual season is, you know, we're looking, you know, most programs are playing three, maybe four tournaments uh, each semester uh, at the most. And then uh, you have our conference tournament in the spring. So um, in order for them to be sharp, uh, as sharp as they need to be, uh, to be competitive, I believe that um, this maybe the most important thing that they can do is find time to compete and stay sharp in the off season. And uh, this tour allows them to be able to do that. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, that's certainly what we're trying to do. We've worked with uh, as many college coaches as we can to, to try to get their players in these fields and get the word out and certainly appreciate 
uh, your support to, to be on site for an event uh, and, and watch some of these high school players competing against the college players. Um, this is our last show of 2020. Uh, this is our last college golf powerhouse series of the 2020 year. Um, glad to talk about Union University uh, and, and all the great things that Coach Chandler is building there. Got a couple of questions for you here to close out 2020. One, Coach, what is on the head Bulldogs Christmas list? What do you want this year? Um, well, uh, there is one item that is always on my list, whether it's Christmas, birthday, uh, whatever occasion you can find. Uh, I always have uh, maybe a, pair, a new pair of sneakers on my list. Um, I have a little bit of a sneaker head. So uh, I like uh, the Jordan brand golf shoes that have been releasing. I'm a big uh, yeah. Jordan brand fan, so I was able to snag a pair of those this past week, and that, uh, that made me happy. But uh, more importantly, I think just being able to spend this couple of weeks uh, with family, uh, my wife and I uh, are enjoying the fact that we get to spend this uh, first Christmas uh, down in Florida uh, for our daughter. Uh, she's 11 months old, so um, just being able to take that time and spend time with the ones that are close to us i think if we've learned anything this year it's not to take those times for granted most definitely most definitely and, and then finally going into 2021 you know what's on the horizon for these two great teams you're building over here at union the men and the women's teams uh you know what are the goals going into the spring what what's the uh what in your mind how far can we go this year um you know, How about him? I think better than most. Uh, better than most. Uh, ability to uh, move forward and compete. Uh, the spring tournaments are going to be 54 hole tournaments, um, which makes it 36 18. Um, that's going to test our endurance, um, and it's it's going to be a good test of golf for us. And I think that I'm looking forward to that part of it, us getting stronger um, and ultimately uh, to finish better than we did uh, last year. We do want to win and compete, but, um, you know, last year we did accomplish some good things, but I think moving forward, we want to be, continue to be better uh, every single day. And it's going to be based on, um, you know, our work ethic day in and day out. Um, and I think the sky's the limit for these programs. Uh, we're accomplishing, like I said, a lot of firsts uh, this this year. Our men's team touched the highest national ranking they've had, uh, setting at 53 uh, since becoming a Division II program. So, uh, and then last year, the women's team broke into the top 90, I believe, which is the first time that's ever happened in program history. So. We are moving forward. Um, it's, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. It, it will be a process uh, that they are buying into, uh, but um, we will get there uh, at some point. Uh, I, I would love to do that this spring, but if not, uh, it will be happening very, very soon. Excellent. Excellent, Coach. Well, we really appreciate you taking time to talk about the program, to talk about uh, Union University here with the uh, College Tour X powerhouse series um we're going to keep an eye on you we're going to keep up we're going to keep in touch and and certainly have you back on often to uh to uh talk about you know how things are going as we build this along so i really appreciate you being on today thank you jason i really appreciate you having me on no problem no problem uh so for uh Jason Nall and College Tour X and Ryan Chandler, the head bulldog at Uni Union University. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We'll see you next time.